Arizona softball came out strong against New Mexico State Friday night with a 4 to nothing lead. It looked like it would be a quick and easy game until they ran into some problems during the fourth inning. Pitcher Alyssa Denham seemed to hit a wall and lose momentum in the circle, which led to the Aggies tying the game. She gave up five runs in the inning, capped by a three-run blast. However, coach Mike Candrea was impressed with how his team responded during the bottom of the fourth, crushing back-to-back -back home runs. And, um, wasn't real pleased with our performance in the circle, but um, that happens, you know. And so it's just moving forward. I thought Bo came in, did a great job. Um, but just the, the way our offense responded um, when the game got close um, was really, really good to see. Honestly, I think we responded really well. Um, this is what we need this time of the season. We need to be um, giving the punches back when there's being punches thrown at us. I think we just need to keep reciprocating the actions we've been doing and just keeping our bats alive. I mean, you've seen it. Our hitting's contagious. We just got to keep it rolling and passing the bat along. Arizona's comeback was sparked by two freshmen, Ali Skaggs and Carly Scoopin. But this doesn't come as a surprise to the Wildcats since they've both been contributing all season long. And they're absorbing all the information we can give to them and they're really taking charge. I'm very proud of them. I thought that was awesome. Carly Scoopin with a bomb to right field and then Ali Skaggs right after her. Um, but they're both playing great and they're really working well with us. So I'm proud of them. We have a bright future for Arizona softball. You know, you've seen our freshmen all year. They, they do their thing and they're awesome. I mean, we have an amazing senior class, but our freshman class is also picking up where other places can't be picked up. So they're doing a great job and I'm happy they're settling in and just enjoying the game. It didn't end in a hit, but late in the game, Raina Caronco was able to get her first at bat since February. Fans were on their feet as she stepped into the box, but her coaches and teammates were just happy to see her back on the field. Um, I'm just finding some opportunities right now to get her back uh, this weekend, so you're going to see her. Um, but she looks good. I mean, she's um, she's a tough kid, you know, for what she's gone through to come back. And it looks like you know, it's kind of like riding a bike, you know. She's such a good um, – I think she's a professional hitter. She, she really uh, stays through the zone uh, – really, really well and uh, doesn't try to do too much. And, and um, so I, I think watching her swing the bat this week, um, it was just encouraging that there wasn't any tentativeness. You know, she, she responded uh, very positively. She hit the ball around the ballpark and good defense. Um, you know, I think she's, uh, she's right around the corner, ready to go. But, you know, Alex Skaggs done a good job. So, you know, that's that's the, the thing about Allie. Allie's, um, you know, like she did tonight, she ran into one and she's very capable of doing that. Uh, she's got really good power. Um, so, um, but you know, Raina is Raina. I mean, Raina's a, someone that we need in our lineup and look forward to getting her back. Uh, well, this was actually the first full week that Raina's jumped in there and done everything at practice. And when I tell you that it didn't look like she missed a day, I mean that. Raina is so amazing. She went out there, ground balls, looked perfect, absolutely flawless. Um, she's just a true competitor, and she really stays within herself and just goes out there and is like, hmm, I'm going to do it. I don't really care. Um, that's just her personality. So when she finally got the opportunity today to come out here and really put all her hard work to a test, I was so proud. Um, I love that the fans were giving her a really great response, but I want her back on the field with me. I miss her for sure, but... Uh, I'm so happy for her, and I think she's amazing because she didn't even look like she was phased at all. Arizona's Bear Down Fiesta will wrap up Saturday, starting off with a rematch against New Mexico State, followed by an exhibition game against Team Mexico. From Rita Hillenbrand Stadium for GoEasyCats.com, I'm Kelly Harzen.